Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C Sharp Lazy Loading and the support the language has. Uh, essentially, lazy loading is a design pattern where you defer initialization of an object until the point at which is needed. So that's so much for the theory. So let's get started. So what I've done is I've created a class here uh, and we can time how long it takes. So this is where we are getting an object. And right now it's not a lazy object, it's just a regular object. And we get a stopwatch, start the stopwatch, and if we stop the stopwatch and we see how long it took to uh, essentially have this uh, constructor for this class loading done, and it'll uh, print the last milliseconds. And uh, once this is done, basically we, I specify a key for my database, so that would be the name of the person, so in this case is Yogi. And we will say we want to read the value from the database, so lazy object dot read db the value, and we can print the key and the value. So if you run this, I've already run this once, but I can run it for you again here. And what you would see is that uh, it basically prints a message saying default constructor is called, and then the hello world, and it took almost like a thousand milliseconds, and it uh, says the Yogi is a software developer. So if you look at uh, what the loading class does, uh, we can uh, take a quick look here. Uh, so here is our uh, class which uh, has the default constructor loading and it prints the message and then it just calls OpenDB and we can go to OpenDB. Uh, here you can see it is sleeping for a thousand milliseconds. So that's why you see the time. And here I'm simulating a database through some kind of a dictionary which is a key value pair. And I just added a default two things, Yogi and programming, okay? So that's pretty much what it does. And in the read DB, what it does is if the database contains the key, it will return the value. Otherwise, it throws an exception that key is not found. So that's what the program is doing currently and it, everything works fine. So let's say for some reason, when you construct an object, uh, you uh, want the startup or something to be done uh, more quickly. So it doesn't take like 1000 uh, millisecond as this case. So what you can do is uh, specify that the object should be lazy loaded. And the way to do that is pretty straightforward. You can wrap this as a, in the lazy class and that's uh, pretty much what it does. So then now you got a lazy object. But the thing is whenever you are trying to uh, refer to the lazy object and you want to read it, uh, what you have to do is you have to get the value here. So uh, here I'm saying lazy object dot value and read database and it should uh, now essentially work the same way uh, as it was working before. But the only uh, difference is that uh, the startup time where we are getting this object, it should be very small. So let me just run this again and see how that works. So one thing you notice is that the hello world now is taking very little time, almost zero milliseconds. And after that, when we try to access the object to the value, it default constructor is called and then the database is behaving as expected. So that's pretty much a technique you can use if you want to lazy load any class. Uh, and there may be some cases where you may want to do to uh, give a perception. So that's the lazy loading pattern in C sharp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it under C sharp uh, lazy loading. And thank you for watching this screencast and you have a good day.